all right today we are doing cubes and cube roots now cube previously you have studied square that if a number is multiplied with itself we get the square of that number but in cube if a number is multiplied by itself three times then the product is called the cube of that number say 4 if 4 is multiplied by itself three times if 4 is multiplied with itself three times the product the product 4 fours are 16 16 fours are 64 the product 64 is called the cube of that number so cube of 4 is 64 this can also be written as 4 cube this has the same meaning 4 cube is equal to 64 furthermore if we have 2 cube it means 2 is multiplied with itself three times the product is 8 so 2 cube is 8 now remember 2 cube should be written in this form 2 into 2 into 2 and not as 2 into 3 some student make mistake of writing it in this form this is not the correct form of writing the cube this is wrong it should be written in this form suppose we have 5 cube it should be written 5 into 5 into 5 which will be 5 5 sir 25 25 sir 125 now let us see the cube of certain numbers some single digit number now suppose you have 1 the cube of 1 is 1 into 1 into 1 which will be 1 the cube of 2 will be 2 into 2 into 2 which will be 8 the cube of 3 will be 3 into 3 into 3 which is 27 similarly the cube of 4 will be 4 cube is 64 then 5 cube is 125 then 6 cube is 6 is 36 36 is 216 then 7 cube 7 are 49 49 7 are 343 then 8 cube 8 8 are 64 64 8 are 512 then 9 cube 9 9 are 81 81 into 9 is 729 then 10 cube is 1 2 3 three. so these are the cubes of single digit number you need to memorize this it is better to memorize the cube of at least 10 numbers now if you observe this 1 is an odd number the cube is odd 3 is an odd number the cube is odd 5 is an odd number the cube is odd 7 is an odd number the cube is odd so here you have observed that cube of even number is even and cube of odd number is odd sometimes this is asked as objective question what is the cube of an odd number or what is the cube of an even number if it is even number the cube will be even if it is odd the cube will be odd now let us see some questions related to cube and cube root the first thing is to find the cube of any number find the cube of this is simple if you are given any number say 21 and you are asked to find out the cube of 21 21 cube is 21 into 21 into 21 if you multiply 21 and 21 it becomes 441 and furthermore if you multiply with 21 11 1 14 4 14 4 2 1 are 2 2 4 are 8 2 4 are 8 after adding we get 1 6 12 9 so 9 261 this is the answer again let's see few more question if it is decimal 0.5 cube we have to write it as 0.5 into 0.5 into 0.5 now while multiplying ignore the point and just multiply the three numbers if we multiply 555 it becomes 125 now after three digit we have points so after three digit there should be point it becomes 0.125 then one more suppose it is 1.1 cube now same thing 1.1 into 1.1 into 1.1 
Now ignore the point and multiply the numbers. 11 multiplied with 11 three times. 11 11s are 121. If you multiply with 11, again 121, 121. After adding it becomes 133, 1, 133. One. Now we count the number of digits of in point. One, two, and three digits are in point. So one, two, and three digits should be in point. This is the answer. Furthermore, if we have fractions, the number is say two by five. The whole cube. So the cube of two by five will be two by five into two by five into two by five. And after multiplying, two twos are four, four twos are eight, five fives are twenty-five, twenty-five fives are one twenty-five. Now if the numbers are given in mixed fraction, like 3 1 by 4 suppose this is suppose we need to find the cube of this number so first of all we convert it into improper fraction 4 3 are 12 plus 1 13 by 4 cube now it becomes 13 by 4 into 13 by 4 into 13 by 4 after multiplying 4 4 are 16 16 4 are 64 13 13 if we multiply we get 169 again if you multiply it with 13 we get 3 9s are 27, 2, 3 6 are 18, 20, 0, 2, 3 1s are 3, 4, 5, 9, 6, 1. After adding it becomes 2, 1, 9, 7. So this is how we find out the cube of any number. Now let us see another question. Check if the following numbers are perfect cube now to check whether it is a perfect cube or not we need to check whether they are the product of three numbers multiplied with itself say suppose the number is 128 now to find out whether 128 is a perfect cube or not a perfect cube we need to factorize 128 we will factorize it as 128 comes in the table of 2 2 6 are 12 2 4 are 8 then 2 3s are 6, 2 2s are 4, then 2 16s are 32, 2 8 are 16, 2 4s are 8, and 2 2s are 4. This can be written as 2 into 2 into 2, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7. So if we pair up these and this, this is left out alone, we have 2 cube into 2 cube into 2. 2 is left out without a triplet. So here 2 is left without a triplet. Therefore 128 is not a perfect cube. Let us see for one more question. Suppose the number is a bigger number. Let me take 46656. Now, in order to check whether it is a perfect cube or not a perfect cube, we need to factorize it. 46656 comes in the table of 2. 2 2s are 4. 2 3s are 6. 2 3s are 6. 2 2s are 4. 2 8s are 16. Again with 2. 2 1s are 2. 2 1s are 2. 2 6 are 12. 2 6 are 12. 2 4s are 8. With 2 again. 2 5s are 10. 2 8 are 16. Then 2 3s are 6. 2 2s are 4. 2, 2's are 4, 2, 9's are 18, 2, 1's are 2, 2, 6 are 12, again with 2, 2, 1's are 2, 2, 4's are 8, then 2, 5's are 10, 2, 8 are 16, 2, 7 are 14, 2, 2's are 4, 2, 9's are 18, this comes in the table of 3, 3, 2's are 6, 3, 4's are 12, 3, 3's are 9, 3, 8's are 24, 3, 1's are 3, then furthermore, this comes in the table of 3, 3, 2s are 6, 7s are 21, 3, 9s are 27, and 3, 3s are 9. So these can be written as 2 into 2 into 2 into 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, multiplied with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Again, 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3. If we observe, we have this pair, this pair. 3 again 3 everything is in pair therefore 4 6 6 5 6 is a perfect cube
Now let us see another question. Find the cube root of the following. How to find the cube root of any number? Suppose the number is 512. This is a perfect cube. We need to find out the cube root of this number. So cube root is written in this form. Cube root of 512 is equal to cube root of we will factorize 512 and write it in prime prime factorization form 2 2s are 4 2 5s are 10 2 6s are 12 again with 2 2 1s are 2 2 2s are 4 2 8 are 16 2 6 are 12 2 4s are 8 then 2 3s are 6 2 2s are 4 furthermore with 2 2 1s are 2 2 6 are 12 2 8 are 16 2 4s are 8 and 2 2s are 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This can be written as 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. We need to write 9 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now we can pair it up. We have one pair. Total triplets. Total triplets. We have 2 cube. Then 2 cube and 2 cube everything is inside the cube root now cube and cube root will be cancelled we will have 2 into 2 into 2 and after multiplying these 3 we have 8 so cube root of 5 1 2 is equal to 8 this becomes the answer now let us see for another question suppose it is 9 1 1 Two five. This is also a perfect cube. We are asked to find out the cube root of this number. So cube root of nine one one two five is equal to cube root of. We need to factorize this nine one one two five. Since it ends with five, it can be factorized with five. Five ones are five. Five eights are forty. Five twos are ten. Five twos are ten. Five fives are twenty five. Furthermore, with five, five threes are fifteen. Then five six are thirty. 5 4s are 20, 5 5s are 25, with 5 again, 5 8s are 40, 5 7s are 35, 1 comes here, 5 2s are 10, 5 9s are 45, this comes in the table of 3, 3 2s are 6, 3 4s are 12, 3 3s are 9, with 3 again, 3 8s are 24, 3 1s are 3, then 3 9, 3 2s are 6, 3 7s are 21, 3 9s are 27 and 3 3s are 9. So these can be written as 5 into 5 into 5 multiplied with 3 3 3. How many 3s we have? 1 2 3 4 5 6. 1 2 3 4 5 6. Now we make them triplets. This can be written as cube root of 5 cube, 3 cube and 3 cube cube and cube root will be cancelled we have 5 into 3 into 3 after multiplying 3 3 are 9 9 3 9 5 are 45 so we have cube root of 9 1 1 2 5 is equal to 45 this becomes the answer now let us see another question find the smallest number to be multiplied a particular number will be given let me take uh, 256 to make it a perfect cube and also find the cube root find the cube root of the new number now here the number given is 256 this is not a perfect cube 256 we need to multiply some number to it to get a perfect cube let's check what is that number 256 is a factor of 2 2 ones are 2 2 4 2 twos are 4 1 comes here 2 8 are 16 again with 2 2 6 are 12 2 fours are 8 2 32 2 16 are 32 2 8 are 16 2 fours are 8 and 2 2s are 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We have 2, 
eight times three four five six seven eight now if we observe this is a triplet this is a triplet and we need one more two to make this as a pair so we multiplied with two the least number is two here two is required to make triplet to make triplet so therefore the list required number is 2 if we multiply with 2 it becomes a perfect cube now the question says also find the cube root of the new number we need to find out the cube root of the new number now cube root of what will be the new number after multiplying with 2 2 6 are 12 2 1 comes here 2 5 are 10 plus 1 11 2 2 are 4 plus 1 5 512 now we need to find out the cube root of 512 so cube root of 512 is we have pair of 2 2 and 2 so I can directly write it as 2 cube 2 cube and 2 cube now cube and cube root will be cancelled 2 2 and 2 will be left out 2 2 are 4 4 2 are 8 so the cube root of 512 is 8 we also found, found the cube root of the new number now let us see one more question find the smallest number by which a particular number should be divided to get a perfect perfect cube now by which uh, let me take a two digit three digit number 135 be divided to get a perfect cube also find cube root here the question says what should be divided now now for finding the number we need to factorize 135 the question says what should be divided so this should be divided with certain number and we will get a perfect cube 135 we factorize it with 5 5 2s are 10 5 7s are 35 27 comes in the table of 3 9s are 27 and 3 3s are 9 so we have 5 into 3 into 3 into 3 this is not a perfect cube but if we divide with 5 then this 5 and this 5 will be cancelled so we have to divide by 5 here 5 is left without a triplet therefore the least required number is 5 if we divide with 5 it becomes a perfect cube they also asked you to find out the cube root of the new number so cube root of now after dividing with 5 it will be 5 2's are 10 5 7 are 35 so it becomes 27 cube root of 27 is 5 is already cancelled it is 3 cube cube and cube root will be cancelled it becomes 3 so the, the cube root it becomes 3 so the cube root of 27 is 3 this becomes the answer